Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, primarily, I'm going to be going over the banner. It's going to be a little bit longer, or quite a bit longer than normal, because I'm going to combine both my banner review with the pulls. And so, you know, essentially, if you don't care about one or the other, you can either skip the second half, skip the first half, or watch the whole thing if you just really like my content. Um, the first thing, though, I do want to address, kind of up front, because I want to be, you know, transparent with everybody. I apologize for this video being a little bit delayed. Normally, I try to get the banner reviews and stuff like that done, like, the next morning after the banner drops. However, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm an attorney. I just started a new job two weeks ago, and I have been significantly busier than normal. So, um, with that... Basically, I just don't have quite as much time to get things out, uh, you know, as quickly as I used to. Um, and I don't know how that's going to be going in the future. Just know I, I do plan to, uh, to keep covering this. It's just not always going to be probably as, uh, as snappy as it used to be. But I just wanted to let everybody know that so that, you know, I know there's always people that are wondering like, oh man, you know, are you, have you stopped playing? Have you stopped covering it? No and no. Uh, along those lines... I do also know that there have been some big notices recently, uh, the major update countdown and all that kind of stuff. I would like to make a video going over that and kind of what I think about the new R ability, etc. Um, but that'll have to be maybe sometime a little bit down the road um, because I just really want to get to the banner right now and I do have limited time. But I am super hyped about this banner. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and kind of jump right into it. So, first thing I will point out, also in the nature of transparency, I did purchase a pack. Um, I will show you exactly which one I purchased. On this major update, uh, I purchased this one for 20 bucks, right? And it's not anything glorious, so I don't think it's any specifically great value or anything like that. But I wanted to get up to at least 2,000 red crystals because I do like this draw. One of the reasons is because Tifa is like become my main DPS unit. And now with the fourth Arcanum that she's being offered, I think that she's just versatile enough to to want to go OB10 on as many weapons as you can for her. So I will be pulling on this. As for the banner itself, um, I'm going to start off reviewing Barrett's weapon, just because it'll be a little bit shorter, and then covering Tifa's costume and her weapon. If we look at Barrett's weapon, it's called Shark Slayer, and honestly, I think that's kind of cool. I think it's a good summer theme, especially because I'm pretty sure it's Shark Week. Uh, for those of you who are into that, my wife is, so yeah, everything's about sharks. And so this is pretty cool for me. I'm, I'm pretty into it. Also, it's quite a good weapon. So you can see here, if we go up to the max OB10, you're looking at like 420% physical non-elemental. Obviously not why you'd pull for this. But we've got another one of these dual breach weapons, and this one is fire and water. As long as your HP is 50% or more, you get the water. And that's not very hard to meet. 50% is way more generous than 70%. The buff debuff extension here is quite good. The boost HP is pretty good. It's okay anyway. It's got a sigil break. Everything you would want in a weapon like this. Going down, we can look and see that obviously it starts out at mid potency, stacks to high. And then at OB6, you're going to get the traditional starts off at high. You know, obviously, this is something that is going to be wish listable later on. So it's not something that has to be gotten immediately. But I do think that these double breach weapons, I mean, they're going to be super valuable. I, and I think that's just kind of obvious. The game is signaling that more and more of the content is starting to have times when you'd want both. So... This is kind of a no-brainer. I think it's really great as a utility weapon for that. Also, as far as our abilities go, boost HP is always good, especially on your support units, uh, because typically, you know, you're not giving them your very best gear. And buff debuff extension is something, you know, it really depends how high you value some of these R abilities. But I personally can tell you that I really value this buff debuff extension, especially on characters that have the ability to also heal. And since Barrett does have some weapons that give cure all, I think that 
anytime I can make sure that my buffs or debuffs last that much longer and save that ATB is a huge deal. And we saw this a lot in the last crash battle, uh, much easier to conserve ATB or use it for healing when you aren't having to constantly reapply a buff or debuff or whatever you need. So for that, I am a big fan of this weapon. I think it's really good, although it is not gonna be the main weapon that I'm going for in this banner, but I'm hoping to at least pick up a copy or two. Looking at Barrett's weapon here, and again, I'm gonna have to give a shout out. I know just about every one of these videos, I'm giving Tom Rom over in my Discord a huge shout out because he absolutely deserves it. The work that this guy puts in to making these infographics is absolutely phenomenal. It makes it very, very easy and simple to um, both kind of judge or evaluate a weapon and also to compare it to other things. And you're gonna see that a lot when we cover Tifa's weapon. He's done some really awesome things. So again, shout out to Tom Rom. And again, if you're not part of the Discord, I highly suggest you come over. That's uh, where, you know, everybody's kind of talking about these things almost all the time. And Tom Rom is there uh, always answering people's questions, being as helpful as you could possibly imagine. Okay, let's look at the weapon. This is this is the Tom Rom graphic that shows level 90, OB0 to OB1. Obviously, this is good for two reasons. One, because if you go into uh, the weapon in the game, it shows everything at 120, which most weapons aren't going to be taken to 120. 90, though, pretty realistic nowadays. Secondly, they never show the weapon from OB0 to OB1, which is a huge deal because it's one of the only, and it might be the only time, that a weapon gets a boost to both our abilities and a C ability boost. And so, OB0 to OB1 is a big deal, especially for free-to-play players. We all know the OB6, etc., but OB1 is kind of a big deal. And here, we can see what we get in basically whether it's worth trying to get this particular weapon right away to OB1 if you get a 5-star copy. So, physical attack goes up from 218 to 305, magical attack goes up 80 points, heal, which I think actually does kind of matter on a weapon like this, goes up 14. Um, I don't think that this is anything super impressive, but then again, we're not really that concerned about, um, you know, stats like physical attack and magical attack on a weapon like this. But the heal, I think, can be a factor because a lot of times you may want your utility character to also be either a main or sub healer. Okay, what does it do? Obviously, the, none of this changes from OB0 to OB1. And so, you know, you're looking at the same, you know, potency on your fire resist and water resist. You get a couple extra seconds on the debuff and you get 40% extra physical damage. Not a big deal. Our ability wise, 16 points to 17 points on the HP and 12 points to 16 points on the buff debuff extension. Not the hugest deal in the world. If you don't have any other buff debuff extension items on him and you're main weaponing this, well, that's one more tier you're getting from OB0 to OB1. But other than that, really not that big of a deal uh, as far as ob wanting this. So my, my advice is if you're free to play, if you just wanted to pick up a copy of this weapon, I do not think that it's that important to get to OB1. Now, eventually getting OB6 so that you can get that high potency breach on one cast, that's a big deal. But I think you're going to get a lot of benefit out of this weapon just at five stars. Now, the last thing I want to note about this, just because it's easy to miss, is that this is only a three ATB cast. So again, you're getting a ton of value and that ATB conservation is very easy to keep up with at a low cost of only three ATB. So I think this is a great weapon. I think even if you don't go for this banner, it is definitely going to be one that you're going to be wanting to wish list, probably to get at least one copy because that combined with a couple other weapons that Barrett has had, I think is starting to really make him viable for a lot of different builds. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I have, is Tifa. And before I even get into this, I just want to take a second to look at this wallpaper because it's amazing. So let's take a look. The sheer grace, the beauty, this is like easily an 
in my opinion, the best wallpaper that we've come out with in this game. Big fan, big fan. I love that. I don't know. It just has, this has like the summer feel. They've nailed it, I think, on, you know, the summer aesthetics and uh, kind of gone with the, like summer night vibe. Whereas the last beach event, we got a lot of like summer daytime vibes. Yeah, I, this just, I don't know. There's something magical about it. I love it. Uh, looking at it, um, obviously, like, I just, what's, what's not to like about this? Like, it's, I think it's really classic. It's nice. It's good. Okay. It's called Passion Mermaid. And we can see here, it's got Sun's Favor. This is an R ability that we've recently seen showing up. It's plus 5% HP, plus 15% physical defense. I think that's great. I'm all for it. And then Flame Blade Arcanum, which, if I'm counting correctly, is Tifa's fourth Arcanum. She's got water, she's got ice, she's got lightning, um, and now she's got fire. And she's also got a physical ability mastery. I think that as far as a physical, or as far as a DPS goes in general, she is really coming into her own, and both some, you know, physical and magical, depending on the element. And next we have Shell Knuckles. The, I, what's commonly, I think, referred to as like the Arcanum weapon. The weapon that's, you know, got the element that goes along with the costume on this banner. So, what do we see here? First, I would point out that looking at it at OB10, holy crap. 940% magical fire damage to a single enemy. Tifa seems to be getting all of the single target weapons that we've been waiting for for a long time. Um, we do not have a lot of single target fire damage. This is amazing. 940% when you take that, add the 20% or multiply it by 1.2, you get 1128% fire damage. That is insane. I think that is extremely good. This boost fire potency here, great. And we will be comparing this to other weapons in a little bit. That kind of maybe make your decision a little bit easier. Um, 31 points to magic attacks, not anything to write home about, but I don't really care. To me, what makes this weapon shine is this percentage on the C ability. Going over to Materias, we've got Magic Attack, Magic Attack, and X Sigil Boost. Perfectly good with that. Um, hmm, so far, really, really liking this weapon. Um, now, one of the things I want to go through real quick before I bring up the first infographic on the 5 star or OB0 to OB1 is I want to say this. I think everybody that's playing this game right now has an idea of why you wouldn't or why you shouldn't pull for this banner, right? Everybody is thinking about saving for Vincent. They're thinking about saving for the anniversary. Both of these things are coming up very soon. Vincent, like literal right around the corner. Uh, so I'm not going to spend much time as far as the should you pull. I'm not going to spend much time going over why you should maybe consider not. Okay. There's only one other thing that I'm going to discuss a little bit later. But for the most part, I'm only going to talk about why you should consider pulling. Because I think everybody already knows why you would consider not pulling. Okay. And for starters, this this percentage is, to me, it's just amazing. It's, it's pretty bonkers. And for that alone, I think this is a great weapon. But even for like free-to-play people that don't want to spend a ton of crystals... You know, but they want a copy of it right now because let's be honest, if you wish list, if you if you go through every banner saying it's costumes only, I'll wish list the weapons later, it's very easy to get to a situation where there's so many weapons that you need, like if you're trying to OB6 them, that it gets really hard and you're kind of, you know, like your odds are a little bit worse if you have to wish list them versus getting featured. So I've always personally um, you know, been for trying to go for a weapon like going bigger rather than going wider it, i'm not saying that's the right strategy or the best one necessarily but it is what i like to do so with all that aside let's go ahead and take a look at ob0 to ob1 for starters taking a look at this we can see um here's the stat changes for physical attack magical attack here's the r ability changes not you know not a ton there and the fire potency kind of could be a big deal if you're main handing it. But really, again, we're more concerned with the C ability here. And going from 
five star to Obi One, you're getting a hundred percent more on the C ability, and then when you take into consideration the extra 1.2 times damage, which I assume you're going to be getting a majority of the time, that actually comes out to 120% more damage, uh, which I think that's a, a really good pickup for getting one additional copy of this weapon. And just to kind of do the math for you, 620 times 1.2, 744%. Now, if we think back to a little bit less than a year ago, the last time there was a summer campaign and we had Cloud's Maritime Sword, for example, that weapon caps out at OB10 at 750% elemental damage. We are now basically getting that for OB1. That is a massive, massive power creep, in my opinion, but that, that's what we're here for. So, uh, that's a reason I think it would be good. Obviously, again, you could wishlist this later, but again, it gets to a point where if you have more than, you know, a few, a handful of weapons that you want to wishlist, how many banners are you supposed to wait for? Especially when you're saving and saving, you know, before you're ever going to get anything to OB6 you're kind of mostly going to be relying on luck from the free pulls, which can get you there, but you don't have as much control. So this is something I definitely think is worth seriously considering picking up. Now we're going to move on to the comparisons. And again, one of the reasons why Tom Rom is the absolute man is because of the fact that he comes up with this stuff that takes a lot of effort, okay? But it really helps us put in perspective, maybe how strong this weapon is, uh, whether it's, you know, better than what we already have, not quite as good as what we have, or similar enough that we don't need to care, right? So um, I think this is going to help a lot of you really kind of make this decision. So Shell Knuckles versus Stream Guard. We're going to compare it to Stream Guard and we're going to compare it to Sky Splitter. Now, these two, I think, are more comparable just because they are both magic fire damage. But we can see here on the main attribute, which is magic attack, Zack edges out Tifa by four points. On the secondary, uh, Tifa is a little bit higher. Not that it really matters a whole lot. It would matter for like summon damage, but whatever. And heal, we don't really care about that. Okay, now coming down to our abilities, obviously Stream Guard is going to take it here because the boost magic attack to all allies is extremely powerful. Um, one of the best R abilities, maybe for DPS, like the best that we've seen in the game. Um, you, you can't touch that, okay? And even her magic attack on her own is just not as high. It's not anything to write home about. However, the boost fire potency for Stream Guard is pretty lackluster. I mean, that's the trade-off you get for the boost magic attack. Tifa's at 39 is pretty good. It's not insane by any means, but it's pretty good. And so we're left with, again, the one thing that I think is the standout about Tifa's weapon here is this percentage on the C ability. 940 versus 850, it's a big deal. I mean, sorry, it's not a super big deal. It's 90% more damage. Flat, that's what it is because they both have the 1.2 multiplier. So, you know, I would say that if I really had to say one or the other, I think Zax is better uh, because that boost magic attack to all allies, I think is so strong. I think it does kind of edge out Tifa's weapon. However, to me, Zack is not nearly, don't hate me, Zack fans, I'm not saying Zack's bad, but he's not nearly as useful in as many situations as Tifa, for one. Uh, so, the amount of, like, times you're going to be able to probably use Tifa, generally speaking, over Zack, man, that's kind of hard. Although, Zack's attribute is fire. I mean, he has, like, one of the best fire R abilities on a weapon in the game. So, you know, he is a fire person. However, also think about this. This was a limit break weapon. And it was limited, which means it's that much harder to get to OB6, that way harder to get to OB10. If you're free to play, good luck on that. Unless you saved a boatload of crystals or plan to maybe wishlist this on the next limit break banner. With all that in mind, I kind of shift back to thinking that Tifa's weapon is actually better when you add in practicality. So. Also, I didn't pull for Zack's weapon, so 
that's just like doubly as much why I think that Tifa's weapon here is going to be great for me. Now, the next thing we're going to compare it to is Sky Splitter. And the main difference is that Sky Splitter is physical damage, uh, physical fire damage versus magic. But we can still kind of make that comparison, right? Uh, if you look at the main attribute, you can see Cloud has 14 more points towards the main attribute. I don't think 14 points is that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, it can kind of grow with percentages, but it's really not that big. Uh, in the secondary, Tifa's got about 30-something points on him. Again, though, because it's a secondary attribute, I don't think that's that big of a deal either. So then we go to our abilities, and yeah, physical attack plus 46 uh, is considerably stronger than 31. Um, but they both have the same fire potency, so Sky Splitter takes it here. Uh, but then we go up to the C ability. And we're looking at 850 versus 940, then potentially also an extra 20% more. And if you take the 90% and multiply that by uh, 1.2, it's actually 108% more damage. And I think that that, um, that 108% matters. I think it's a big deal. And the other reason that I think that the C ability is more important than the R ability is because it's not that hard anymore to max physical attack or magical attack. So although it still is good to have a, a high main you know, attack attribute on your main handed weapon, because it makes it that much faster, you can max it and start worrying, working on another R ability, I still, I, I, would, I would prefer having the extra 108% at OB10. Uh, that's, just, that's just my opinion on that. Those are the comparisons that I wanted to show. Hopefully that gives you some sort of perspective into why maybe I think this particular weapon is so strong. Um, one last one, actually, I almost forgot about this, but we also have one for her outfit. And <laughs> this is really cool because we're looking here at a graphic that shows similar outfits, right? So we've talked about F Cloud has the fire Arcanum that was called the official festive garb. You can see here in the top right corner. That one gave Flame Blade Arcanum and boost physical attack plus five points. And then also Zack has Guardian Style, which was boost magic attack five and Flame Blade Arcanum as well. To me, I would say Sun's Favor with 5% HP and 15% physical defense is like considerably better uh, than those other Arcanum outfits because plus five physical attack or plus five magical attack to me I don't value that nearly as much as 5% HP or 15% physical defense. So with all of that, I think that this is like, man, I, I, you know how I get, I get hyped up. I like seeing this stuff, especially Tifa. I mean, she's like my main character in the game. Uh, she used to be my main uh, utility character for debuffs and buffs. Uh, she's now my main DPS unit. What what do I say about that? So that's what I think about everything. And now it is about time to do the pulls. The first thing I'm going to show you all is my wish list. I'm going to just kind of move myself over for a minute so that you can see the wish list I've made. For those of you who care, uh, we will kind of go through it. So first one here, silver collar. Again, a double breach weapon, both water and wind. I think that is really big. I love these R abilities for heal and buff debuff extension. I love that it's got a cure all. This this is to me a like a must have for red and the fact that I don't have it, I want it really bad. <laughs> um, I think this is just an awesome weapon and I am going to really start focusing red 13. I think he was like undervalued. Well, I think the game slept on him for a long time and then they kind of slowly started sneaking these really good weapons in. But it took me a while to actually come around and realize how good he was getting. Uh, it, it, it didn't just happen overnight, but in my mind, it clicked overnight. So the second weapon is another Red 13 weapon, Ivy Collar. I do have one five-star copy of this, but um, I really want that double resist or double breach that comes to uh, high potency right out of the gate. I have, you know, with these harder battles, especially the crash and, and so forth, the the efficiency with which this happens is 
is worth it to me. And so I'm going to be trying to OB6 this as well. Uh, next, we have Feathered Gloves. This is just a weapon that I only have a couple copies of. I really wanted to get to OB6 so that I can increase that water damage to high. One cast. A big deal for me because really you never want to have to cast Feather Strike more than one time when you're using Tifa to do water damage. Um, moving along, I have the Shinra Military Sword for Sephiroth. He is, he is still my main wind damage dealer. So being able to increase his own wind damage is a no-brainer. And last, I went with another Red 13 weapon. And this one, just because it's magic defense decrease. Uh, now this one does not go to high out of the gate, but it is all enemies. It does stack to high. And honestly, I, I think this is something that I will want to use on him in kind of niche scenarios. So that is the wish list. And for those of you who have watched this entire video, but were mostly wanting to see the pulls, I applaud you. I appreciate you. Thank you for bearing with me. But we're going to go ahead and get into that now. Um, real quickly, though, I do have one last thing. For those of you wondering, uh, and this is, you know, obviously mostly always applies to like light spenders for you to play. You know, this is not the best banner setup uh, as far as the stamp sheet. So here we have, you know, kind of a traditional go to six, get the weapon guaranteed, go to 12, get a costume. Page two sucks, though. This is, this is, they need to fix this. This is not good. I, I get that normally, you know, if it was a two costume banner, you'd have a costume here. Like, I mean, it is a feature guarantee, but why can't I pick the weapon that I want again? I, I don't like that. Um, but then we go to page three and, you know, you can pick the weapon again. I, I just, I don't know. I don't really like it. But, um... Will that affect how far I go? It could. I don't know. Because let me tell you, I don't know. I can do up to 14 pulls with these 42,000 crystals that I have. I don't know how far I'm going to go. I would love to OB6 this weapon. That is going to be the goal. I don't think that's going to be even close to possible with what I've got. So I'm kind of just going to play it by ear. And if I feel like the pulls are good and my luck is holding, then I will act accordingly. All right, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I am going to do the 2000 red crystal pull uh, just to see, you know, what I get. All right, so we know this is going to be at least one guaranteed five star in the 10th slot. Let's see what we get. Of course, it's, it's Tifa. It is Tifa. I really hope. I think it actually has to be, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be the weapon. Okay, motor drive, uh, it's, that's like, at this point, it's kind of a whammy, but it's not the worst. I don't have an OB-10, so I guess it's not the absolute worst. All right, now on to what we all came here for. Fingers crossed, I hope my luck is, is even close to as good as it was on my last banner pulls. Three stamps, great. Okay, and if this is not Mirasame, I am gonna watch the first animation. It helps me be on the hype train, and after that, I will be skipping all the rest. Ooh, I've got a, I've got a lot of nervousness in me because I really, really am in love with this uh, fire weapon. All right, not the best, but it's whatever. Let's see what we got. All right, it's whammies all across the board. Except for I did get a three-star copy. Next pull, let's go right at it. We're at least gonna pull one page. I think that is kind of a must because I'm getting the fire, the, the Arcanum outfit, 100%. Okay, it's... 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Um, it's alright. We can do better. We can do better. 0 for 2. I did think that I was going to be cursed on this draw. Uh, because I... 
Man, that last draw, if you guys saw, I ob 6 both weapons on the banner. It was amazing. Uh, so I, I really can't complain if this goes to hell, <laughs> to, be, to be quite fair. For those of you counting, that's 0 for 3. <laughs> Alright. Very rarely have I ever gone more than three in a row without getting a guarantee. Now, this is obviously a guaranteed one, so it only counts if I get two. Two, two five stars. And I did. Okay, the streak is broken. We're, we're back to at least neutral here. Here's my copy. That's at least one. Hmm. Hard to get super amped for one guaranteed copy. I'd like to pick up at least a couple non-guaranteed. But I don't know. If I don't get one before the end of this stamp page. Wow, the one stamps. Um, then I guess... Oh man, I'm gonna have to reevaluate if I pull for more or not. Because it is, Vincent is like somewhat important to me, but the anniversary is extremely important to me because I have a feeling it's gonna be busted. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, the purples aren't that big of a deal. It's more about the, like, the morale loss that I just suffered from seeing that. So uh, that's four pulls. All right, we did get one in the middle. So we've gotten basically one non-guaranteed in five pulls at this point. Just, that's pretty crappy. Three stamps. Okay. So that means I'm guaranteed to, to clear the stamp page in one more pull. I'll have to look and see. The crystal situation is to see how many it took. But I feel like my luck with stamps actually ended up being pretty, pretty decent. Holy shit. I said I wasn't going to get upset because my luck was so good that, you know, I really didn't have a place to argue with that. But, God. Okay. So, we're at 24.9. So, after this pull, we've pulled 21,000. So, we've pulled six pulls. So, it took seven pulls to clear the stamp page. Or, you know, page one. Seven pulls, I think, is actually quite good. Um, like, I think that's our luck. My luck on stamps has been, I would say, very good. Hmm, but my luck on just five stars in general has been absolute ass. And I'm, I'm kind of... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that's seven pulls with one five star. That wasn't a guarantee. Man, I... <laughs> so, I, I'm not really sure what to do at this point, because I'm thinking about this, and... My god, this has been terrible. Um, so I'm sitting on enough that like I could definitely save a bunch of these crystals later to... Um, to pull for the anniversary, maybe even Vincent. I just don't know what to do. My luck has been so bad. We're going to do a couple more pulls. That was quick, I know, but like I'm racking my brain right now trying to decide. I just know like the, the road to OB6 with one copy is so bad. So bad. Okay. Okay. It's Tifa. Do it. All right. I'll take Feather Gloves. I, I did want that. I mean, it's, you know, it's not the weapon, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to pull again. I'm going to pull until I don't hit a five star. That's the new thing. I'm pulling until I fail to hit a five star. If the game wants the rest of my currency. 
Well, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull at least for the guarantee. They just suckered me in. That's because the only reason I'm still pulling is because I at least hit one. I'd already had it in my mind that if I didn't hit a five star in that last pull, that was over for me. Okay. Not anything that I wanted. Not even anything that was on the wish list, unfortunately. So, although it's a technical five star, it is not. I, this is not lucky at all. And I am going broke at a pretty fast clip. <laughs> and now they're even going to screw me with the stamps as I'm approaching the guaranteed. It's okay. At least everybody gets to see that you can have the best of luck and then you can have the worst luck. And I'm okay with that. Although I'm not going to be happy about it. All right. Two. Tifa in red. Obviously, I put a lot of red on the wish list, so I think that's maybe good. This has to be the magic defense down one, right? No, it could be the, the other new one. Which I hope it's the other one. Yeah, that's the one. Happy with that. Okay, wait. Yes, okay. It was the uh, the Shell Knuckles. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, well, we're, this, we're doing it. How many crystals do I have left here? Let's see. All right, we're pulling until I miss a five star. That's what we're doing. Well, that was my guarantee. Okay, I always lose track of that. I get like so up in my mind that I can't even remember what had happened on the stamp page from five seconds ago. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what? Honestly, two copies of the Shinra Military Sword, uh, I cannot complain about. Feathered Gloves. I I do want them OB6. I have them OB1. That's now OB3. We're, we're making progress on the account. We've got three pulls left that we can possibly do. If I miss a five star, though... It's, it's, I think it's over. All right, that's it for me. I know it's it's like I could just go the rest of the way with the uh, the two pulls that I have, but I'm I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna stop it there. Um, yeah, I have I could do two more pulls, but the likelihood I think that I hit, I would need at least. Either double two stamp or a three and a one to be able to get to the featured. That's so tough. Okay. You're going to watch me be as indecisive as I have ever been in my entire life. Uh, but you know what? I'm actually I'm going back in. I feel, I feel like we can get... I feel like we can get it. Why not? Just Let's just send it. Even though I'm not even guaranteed to get what I want. Hey, though, I am guaranteed to hit it now. Silver lining. Maybe. <sighs> the pull session can still be redeemed if I can hit some triples here. Or even some doubles. I've got nothing here. Well, I have to I have to go ahead and get the last featured weapon. Oh man, how rough. How rough is that? And ultimately, even though seven stamps or seven pulls. Yeah, so I, I cleared two two stamp pages in, in 14 pulls. I think that's pretty good. I do. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> At least it's Tifa. At least it's Tifa. Okay, well, that should put me to OB2. 
and you know I feel like OB2 plus 120 more parts makes OB3 that that gets me you know it's doable I feel like it within I don't know it's like kind of distant but you never know we might get a lot of crystals coming up for Vincent's release and then um, the anniversary and I don't know maybe I can wishlist it later so that's how my pulls went. Honestly, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit depressing. Um, OB3 on that. I don't even know if I did. I even get a copy of the Shark Slayer. Yep, just checked. I did not even get a single five star copy of the Shark Slayer. Um, ultimately, just kind of bad luck. I know some of you are going to say, oh, you put the feather gloves on. I really, truly still refuse to believe that that has any impact on whether or not you get the featured weapon. But anyway, that's how it is. I know this has been a super long video, and believe me, um, I'm looking at the time on this, I'm probably gonna edit out at least 20 minutes of me kind of derping around. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.